Well, we'll start from uh, with this example. Uh, we have monthly data on uh, revenues of two products: product one, product two. Okay, uh, from January six to December two thousand and eight, uh, and and these are, as I said, revenue figures. So, I want to look at the trend. The trend of these two products. I mean, how whether it has increased or decreased, or how how the product, how these two products have performed over uh, or during this period. So what I do is I first uh, select uh, these columns and then I go to insert tab and click on line because line graphs are the best when you are look, trying to look for trend and I select this. So now as you look at the graph you find that you know uh, product one has there's a lot of uh, variation in product one whereas product two looks more or less uh, the red line looks more or less constant it looks like there's not been much change here but there, ha there is more uh, to it than what meets the eye because if you look at the data product one data figures are in hundreds 125 124 118 and and things like that whereas in product two the figures are clearly less than 10 so there is an order of magnitude difference between these two product figures and therefore it will not be the correct thing to do if you are to use the same y-axis to plot these two products right therefore for product 2 we should probably be drawing this on a different y-axis and how you do that you select this red line by clicking on it right click go to format data series and then click on secondary axis okay say close and now immediately you see that product 2 has been a lot of variation in product 2 over the years and 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 which, which all this information uh, we could not see just because we are trying to draw on the same axis so as soon as you separate these two axes create a secondary and a primary immediately that information or that that uh, uh, data is clearly represented in the graph okay so let's move on to the next one where we have uh, again quarterly data from 2005 to 2008 uh, let's say of, of a particular product these are revenue figures these are profit percentage figures now what I want to do here is that I want to represent revenue in the form of columns and profit as a line on the same chart okay so how do i do that again i go and i select these three columns okay i go to insert i then go to column and say to the column okay now here the blue lines are the, the revenue figures and then profit uh, percentage you can see this this barely visible red bars okay in between these blue bars which are profit percentage uh, if you increase this a little bit yes now these red bars are you know almost invisible you can't see that and quite obvious because whereas revenue uh, figures are in thousands profit is in percentage so this is like actually 0 0.35 0 0.38 0 0.25 and and it's quite obvious that you'll not be able to see uh, both this uh, in, in if you if you use the same y-axis so we know of what to do about it uh, you click on the legend here and click on profit again and then right click and say format data series and again click on secondary axis right so now you have two different axes for uh, revenue and uh, profit percentage but of course profit percentage we do not want to uh, show in the form of bars we want to show it in the form of uh, a line so what you can do is you can select on uh, this one of these red bars right click and go to uh, change series chart type okay and here click on scatter click on scatter and then the third one scatter with smooth lines click on this say okay and you have 
the profit percentage shown as a line uh, which is as as you must have guessed by now is pretty 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 much common to see these kind of charts in in reports uh, project reports primarily where uh, uh, the top management would like to see the, the revenue and the profit percentage how it varies over a period of time on the same chart so this is how you draw that kind of graph okay now let's let's move on to something uh, a little more advanced uh, let's say here I have sales data sales data for let's say 10 sales person okay and maybe this is what they have sold um, you know over the year over, over a period of one year and what I want to do is I want to draw a graph right, a graph a chart where salesperson who have sold more than the average will be shown in let's say uh, in, in a particular color let's say gray color whereas the salesperson who have uh, sold less than the average will be shown in red so I'll have two different colors one in gray one in red gray depicting those who have sold more than average red depicting those who have sold less than average and not just that I'd also like to draw a line which will clearly indicate the average okay so let's let's start doing this uh, first what I'll do is I will create a, a, a column actually create two columns uh, greater than average less than average okay and here I will find out what is I'll determine the average what is the average of these 10 numbers so the average is 59.1 so use the average function to find out the average now what I do is I write this function if if a2 is greater than the average which I have calculated in uh, f1 so if a2 is greater than f1 and then I lock it using f4 because I will be dragging this formula downwards so if a2 is greater than f1 then I display a2 else I display hash in a hash in a now uh, Hash in A is the error that you receive when you when you when you, when you, when you see when you, the error that you see when you uh, you know enter uh, and and uh, a wrong formula. But this time I I want to use a formula which will return hash in A. Uh, the function is n a uh, does not take any parameter so n a and then the first bracket and then bracket close and then I press enter and there you see that. Uh, 12 of course is not greater than the average so I get a hash in a and this I will drag and drop okay and here I write the formula equals to if a2 is less than the average and then I lock it display a2 or in a okay. and I press enter and then drag and drop and this is what I get so now if you look at these two columns together uh, in a particular row you either have hash in a or the sales data okay now what we do is we now select these two columns go to insert column 2d column right and there you go you have the greater than average data depicted in blue less than average data you have that depicted in red so part of our work is done of course we can change the color and so on but that 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 we'll do later right now this is what we have got uh, we don't need these lines so we can just uh, just select these lines and press delete and these lines are gone now we need a line right which will show the average so if average is 59.1 so I need I want to really show a line here, a line parallel to the x-axis which will represent the average of these 10 numbers. Now what is the equation of a line which is parallel to the x-axis? 
well the 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 equation is y equals to constant so let us now create a table or 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 a or, or, or data range which can which i can use to create that line parallel to the x axis so i write 1 2 correct and then i drag and drop till uh, 10 okay and here i say equals to the average lock it and drag and drop till the end so here i have the uh, i have data which is kind of you know uh, uh, which which is which is what we'll use to create a line which is parallel to the x axis so here you can see x changing y is constant okay now what we do is we we uh, right click on this chart say select data right and there you see you have two greater than average less than average i want to add one more i want to add one more so i'll say add i'll say add and here i write average because i want this to be the average line and what is my series value series value is this okay and then i say okay okay now you have these green lines at 59.1 now of course these uh, these lines have been represented as uh, you know, uh, columns which i don't want which i want this to be a line so i'll just click on this click on the green lines the green bars that is right click change series chart type go to scatter smooth line and say okay right so there you see you have your uh, average represented as a green line now for some quick cosmetic changes to this as i said if you want this to be uh, in gray you can simply go to format data series right fill by default is uh, is is uh, blue click on solid fill and click and and select the color that you want so if i if i want to go for this the gray here and say close so this is this is uh, uh, the color has changed for this and this one also if i want i can go to format data series right line color and you can make it black if you want go to black select close and it is black and uh, if you want this legend keep it else you can simply delete this okay uh, these axes that you have you can select okay and you can select this right click format axis okay uh, line style you can kind of increase a little okay so make it a uh, little more prominent line color you can select black here okay and then while this is open you can click on the y-axis and do the similar thing line style is 1.5 line color is black right and then say close if you want this to be bold then simply select the uh, x x axis go to home click on bold right y axis click on bold right and this is uh, this is what you have you can have you know you can also uh, give border colors to this uh, bars so border color if you want solid line border style say one point okay uh, you can do the same thing for red format data series border color solid line border style one point and close right so uh, and and if you think that the, the gap between these two bars are a uh, uh, little little more than you what you want so again you click on a bar say format data series and you increase or decrease the power width according to your test and your choice say close and your graph is done 